Our specifically designed room for therapeutic endoscopists is, what is that? It's set up just for you guys. It's also set up for um, your whole department to be to use. Um, when you walk in, our, our patient is on the right side of the bed and where our flat panel is currently at. And you'll kind of see where our shielding is. Um, anesthesia, we kind of carve out a nook on the right side of that head of the bed for anesthesia. So this is a flexible area. Sometimes you need more space, sometimes you need a limited amount of space, but we try to carve out at least enough space for them to put their cart as well to sit, but still have access to the patient. Um, so when you walk in the room, the doctor will stand at the head of the bed when you guys operate. Um, we usually have our endo room right in the access around you. So it's either behind you or to the left of you. So you, when you're scoping, um, your cart, your, um, so your, this, this whole system is controlled with your one kind of motorized um, control panel where you kind of see Dale standing currently. Um, so yeah, yes, if you need a rad tech when one is provided to you, you can use one, but the doctor has full capability of um, running the system just from that um, control panel there that you guys see. Um, so the benefits, a lot of benefits of our system is our radiation reduction. Uh, one of our first kind of um, action to radiation reduction is our current shielding. So our flat panel shielding goes 360 around our flat panel above. You kind of see it on the top there. And on the bottom, it goes three ways around the table. So that's protecting you around, um, protecting the staff, anesthesia, as well as anyone else in the room. So you kind of see that on the top and the bottom there, our shielding, our lead shielding. No. Yeah. So. There we go. Going around. Yes. <laughs> um, one of, uh, another benefit of ours is our motorized movements. So our table and our CR moves independently from each other. And this, this is better for um, better patient access as well as better imaging. Um, if you need to see a complex area, you kind of can move your C-arm and table into the position for you to see whatever that needs to be seen. And Dale will kind of go through the movements right now for you to see. Okay. Can they, do they have a good view of the room? Yeah. Okay, great, all right. So we have a 10-way movement table it's great for patient positioning, also um, onloading, offloading capabilities. Uh, the table comes with uh, two different um, weight limits. We have a standard 500 pound and then a bariatric 800 pound table. So again, the system's designed specifically uh, for interventional endoscopy. This is the only system specifically you know, sold into the endoscopy space. This is what this is our main focus. So we're always looking for ways to just make your lives easier. Um, our goal, our goal is to create, always have the best equipment for this space. So you have all superior imaging angles as well as image quality. Yeah, like Dale said, the, ta the table is 10-way movement, so um, up, down, cradle, lateral, um, transverse. So it, you get all the movements that you need on this table, so it's not, it is fixed to the floor, but it's not fixed in movements. So you'll kind of see that through here and as well as the case. Do they have a good view of the... Let's see, we got this ID. Yeah, so yeah, as well as, yeah, the, your um, flat panel is can move as close as, or as you need to the patient or move back up. Does that shielding interfere with imaging on the detective, on your tilt? So um, no, it does not. But if it's in a, a position where you are in a say, like where Dale is right now, the shielding can go up. So you can get it out of the way so it's not interfering with any of your patient imaging or anything like that. Yeah, so the goal is to have it drape over the patient, not interfere with the flat panel detector. If there's some, for some reason, it's on a certain angle where it is interfering, you can, you can put the, uh, Velcro, straps. the Velcro up. So um, this is just to protect you from scatter radiation.
What about collision sensors? <clears throat> yes, it has a collision sensor, so if it's uh, it interferes with the if it touches the patient, it'll stop. Okay. Yeah. So um, another benefit, and this is actually one of our most popular benefits to the system, is our ability for flexibility in the room. So our C-arm completely moves out of the way for uh, non-floral cases. So say if you're doing EUS, um, you can move that C-arm out of the way and make it a flexible room so you're not just having a, you know, the C-arm kind of around your patient when not needed. This also allows for full access of the patient. So in case of emergencies or there is any kind of movement of the patient that's needed, um, you're not stuck in front of the patient. You can get around. Yeah, so this is huge for uh, patient onloading, offloading uh, with, the, uh, with the staff in the room. It's always, you know, there's not really any systems that you're capable of getting behind. So it's really it's nice and easy for staff members, efficiency, um, and then again, if there's an emergency situation uh, where you need to just get the C-arm out of the way uh, and do CPR or anything like that, uh, you have that capability. We have we just introduced a radiation reduction system this past year. Uh, what it does, it limits your radiation exposure to wherever you are focused in the anatomy. So where your live, ref, your live flora would be 12 frames per second, your reference around would be uh, one, frames, one frame per second. So we have, um, so again, you know, we have uh, CR movement, we have collimator, mag, we have normal mag one and mag two off the flat panel detector. The CID, CID moves up and down and then the 10 way movement. So it's extremely easy, it's intuitive. Uh, it's perfect, you know, for, for staff, you know, obviously when you have uh, other systems, it can get very complicated. Uh, and, you know, so this way, you know, you really, you have a, 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 a staff that can be easily trained and it's really just great for workflow purposes. Uh, when we, uh, when these systems go in, they typically see a, a, a significant amount of uh, increase in procedure volume. And just, it's just the way though the room flows, how the ease of it, all it being a dedicated room, um, just kind of just kind of everything all in one. Uh, so it's it's definitely uh, very effective on top of it being a high end you know imaging system.